You know that who you thought that you are in the past doesn't have to be who you are in the future. Like at any point, you can make a decision to say, yep, that's who I was, but it's not who I am. I'm gonna tell you a story about a time that happened for me because I think so many of us are connected to these, these beliefs about ourselves, these I'm not someone who beliefs. So for instance, growing up, I would think to myself, I'm not someone who sings in public. I just sing in private by myself because that's what I did. I would have never imagined that I would be singing in front of thousands of people, many of people I don't even know on like a daily basis. What? No way. I'm not someone who is outgoing because I was super shy and really timid and not comfortable in my own skin. I'm not someone who's a performer. <laughs> I avoided every acting and choir and debate and improv, anything of that kind at all, like whatsoever. I was like, absolutely not, no thank you. And now it's like what I do for a living, I speak for a living. And so I wanna share a story with you about a time when I was really unlocked, where I had, to, I had to make a decision in the moment to say, you know what, that is who I was, but I am choosing to be somebody different in the future. And at any moment you can make that decision. So it happened a year and a half ago. I was in a program, a professional speaking program called Heroic Public Speaking. And I had put this script together and I was telling the story in there about gospel choir and how I found my voice and how I decided to do a solo in that and, and that really opened things up for me. In my script, I wrote the last minute, hmm, should I like sing part of this? That'd be kind of weird, you know, those people that sing on stage. And my writing coach was like, you should absolutely do that. If you're telling a story about getting unmuted and singing, you probably should sing. And so I get into the program and I'm with a master class led by Michael Port, a professional speaking coach, an incredible speaker, and about a dozen and a half of my peers. And so I get on stage to do that bit and I do the singing thing and it went really well. And then that afternoon when all 75 people are in the room together, at the end of the day to recap, Michael's going through the internet to try to find something to share with us. And he's having a moment where he can't find it. And so all of a sudden out of nowhere, he goes, um, where, where's our singer? And I'm like, looking around just like he is. And I'm like, oh, surely you don't mean me. <laughs> Cause I'm not ready to sing in front of all these people. You gotta be kidding me. And he goes, uh, yeah, Rachel, uh, sing for us. As if nothing had happened. Oh yeah, just get up and sing for us. I'm like, do you have any idea? I'm not someone who does that. You know, all of a sudden all that tape starts playing in my head. I'm not someone who sings in front of people. But I knew that wasn't an option in that moment. I made the decision that like, Rachel, nope, that is who you were, it is not who you're gonna be. And so I got up and you know what I did? I said, this morning when I rose, yeah, I didn't have no doubt. This morning when I rose, yeah, I didn't have no doubt. This morning when I rose, yeah, I didn't have no doubt. I know the Lord will take care of me will provide for me lead and guide me all the way yeah all the way and then i collapsed in my chair and everybody stood up and started clapping and i was sobbing and i just couldn't take it and my friend lisa put her hand on my shoulder and she said what was that about like what was that reaction about and i was like i'm just so overwhelmed <laughs> And she was like, well, overwhelm is usually associated with like something, uh, negative emotion. Are you sure it's not maybe something else? And I was like, I just feel so loved. And I feel so seen and I feel so heard. And it's like everything that had been locked up, everything that was locked up for so long, and all those lies about what I couldn't do and who I wasn't, were like busted you guys in a second weekend, in a moment bust the lies about who we have been and who we have thought that we are. And in a moment, we can make a decision to say, I'm not gonna be that person anymore. I'm choosing to be this instead. I'm stepping into this instead. What are those I'm not someone who statements that you tell yourself that you're carrying around that you need to drop like a bad habit and let go of right now so that you can step into the I am someone who statements. So let us know below, what is either a statement that you're dropping, that I'm not someone who statement, and what is the statement that you are stepping into and fully going to commit to and embody and say, I am someone who? Let us know below. You've got this.